Got this right out in the front. So two people. See how small this thing is. This is pricing. Hey everybody, Tommy for Tom's Road Trippin'. I am down in Coney Island, New York, and today I'm visiting the New York Aquarium. This is one of five facilities that is part of the Wildlife Conservation Society. Includes Central Park Zoo, Queen Zoo, Prospect Park Zoo, and the largest of them all, the Bronx Zoo. I've done all of the four zoos so this is the aquarium that I'm doing today I am right next door to Luna Park here on Coney Island I'm excited to be here I've been wanting to come here for quite some time gonna be doing the aquarium uh, they're not open just yet once I get inside uh, we'll hopefully find a map and we'll get started got this sign here more stuff to see all right, so here is the map of the New York Aquarium. I'm inside the Conservation Hall. It's the main building that we enter. All right, Conservation Hall. All right, Discover Coral Reefs. All the fish we're gonna see in here. Recognize a lot of these fish. Come on, hold down and hold you. And coral is alive. More of the fish that we'll see in this giant tank. I will show you momentarily. Look at that big one. This whole bunch of fish in this tank. Additional. It's like the moray eels. If I can find them. So, as I was saying, this is a giant tank. This is a side view. Guess how large this thing is going past a couple pillars. like these types of fish. Yeah, pink and yellow. Looks like a good portion of the fish are over here. More of the fish that are in here. So yeah, all these different places 
that the eel could be hiding in. Swim by. Oh, here we go. What do you see? He's swimming by himself. So, my gosh, how difficult it's going to be to find this eel. Typically, very difficult to see. But something about this far side, that's where like a good portion of the fish are. And this tank goes back pretty far too. Ooh. Something spooked him. Lots of different colorful fish in here. So this is all people that have donated to the aquarium. All right, got the Pacific Ocean's Coral Triangle. All sorts of information up here. Fish we'll see in here. Bicolor angelfish, blue coral. Copper brand butterfly fish. Against coral. Emperor angelfish. Flame angelfish. Flower pot coral. Fox face. Frog spawn coral. Green star polyp. Hammer coral. So wow. Got lots of pops of color in here. Surgeon fish, pink bird's nest coral, plate coral, powder blue tang, self and tang. Soho Tang, Square Antheus, Table Coral. So, yeah, just all sorts of stuff in here. Whoa. 
I was kind of bouncing along. So yeah, all real coral and real anemone. And the benefits of the buddy system. Got the protector. And then you got the defender. See some bubble tip and enemy. Copper band butterfly fish. False clownfish. Giant mushroom and enemy. Leather coral. Purple tang. Red settled clownfish. Sandalback clownfish. Saddleback clownfish. Tomato clownfish. Waving hand coral. You know you're not going to school today. Yes. We got all that. Don't worry. Bubble tip and enemy. Copper band butterfly fish. So yes. So yeah, there are multiple different types of clownfish. This guy's rubbing up against the anemone. But yeah, all of the different types of an enemy and just really, really nice looking. We got the aquarium's coral lab. Some pellet tang or dories, how the kids call her. Ranford's gobby. Ruffled Ridge Coral. Striped Surgeon Fish. Wrinkle Coral. Broadbard gobby. Citron Gobby. Gold Ring Surgeon Fish. Lettuce Coral. Yes. Growing all the coral. But yeah, you can see a couple of the fish swimming around back here. They add the fish so it's not just uh, coral. There we go, and one fish is kind of swimming in the back. It's saving oceans. Madagascar's dish appearing fish. Africa's Great Lakes. Some Champ Scromus, D. Mason's Mambuna, I don't know. Elajibu, Haplosomus, oh my gosh, some of these are really hard to say.
It's all African fish, so I'm gonna end up messing them all up. So I'm just gonna show them to you. So yeah, these are all fish from the Great Lakes of Africa. And I didn't rec recognize any of those names. It's entirely possible this is the first time seeing some of these fish. Saving species. So, yeah, some of these fish are losing their natural habitat. But there is a magnifying glass here. You can see some of the smaller ones up in the back. Yeah, these are pretty small fish. Saving like Victoria's fish. Yeah, all these Africans, Great Lake fish. Got some nice, colorful looking fish. I really like these, uh, these tanks so far. Alright, again, I'm probably not going to be able to pronounce these properly, so I'm just going to show them to you what they've got in here. Yes, all these fish are from Lake Victoria. It goes towards the back, they got kind of a, a purple hue to them, or it might just be the lighting. South America. Yeah. This tank with all of these little bitty fish. These are cardinal tetra. Yeah. Got a little diver in there. So yeah, cardinal tetra. The type of fish you probably see in a fish tank at your home. The killer legend was born.
Uh, Bolivian Ram. Garnet Tetra. Glow Light Tetra. Pristella. Red Belly Piranha. Skunk Catfish. Spotted Catfish. Guys, this is Dwarf Cichlid. Black Neon Tetra. Oh, I like this tank. Let's see the piranha. I always love how their scales reflect the light. Makes them kind of shimmer. So yeah, these fish been vilified in films. Finding creative solutions. Buy a fish, save a tree. Interesting. Rummy Nose Tetra. Blue Face Discus. Brown Discus. Cardinal Tetra. Heckle Discus. Julie Catfish. So yeah, a lot of these in here are really, really small fish. Real small fish. Kind of worried about the name Discus. I was just expecting some of these to be a little bit larger. Got Brazil's flooded forest. So all the fish we're going to see in this tank. So some of these fish have some odd names and rather than mispronouncing them, I'm just going to show them to you. Be a whole lot easier. Some of the bigger fish in here, like the Paku, Arowana in the back. Big old 
giant Paco. Ooh, there you go. There's a stingray. Fish right here keeps all the stuff clean. Very good point here. You go check out the sea lion celebration. Starts at 11. Right here in the aqua theater. Thrilled 
to share that connection with every single one of you here at the Aqua Theater, over at Sea Cliffs, Conservation Hall, Ocean Wonder Sharks, Spilus, the Planetarium, and Sea Change. We work every single day to bring you all closer to the wonders in your own backyard. Because we believe that anyone that visits a zoo or an aquarium and meets amazing animals just like Erie and Pickles, well then they too will be inspired to protect wildlife. Here at the Wildlife Conservation Society, we stand as a window to nature. out in the wild. Sea lions have to go and catch their own fish. All the while, something is just waiting to catch them. Lurking beneath the water, stalking their quarry, just waiting for the perfect moment to strike. You know it, a sea lion's primary predator, the great white shark. Oh, very funny, you two. There are no sharks here at the Aqua Theater. It's true, sharks and killer whales do prey on California sea lions, but there's an even bigger danger out in that ocean, and it's not another predator. It's plastic. The plastic that we all use every day ends up in our oceans, where it traps and kills millions of marine mammals, fish, turtles, seabirds, I'm talking huge amounts of plastic. Sarah, what is that? A plastic bottle that Townsend just found in the pool? Oh my goodness, this is so embarrassing. Please don't pay attention to any of this. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out in the trash. What is it? Nice job, buddy. High five. So, where was I? I was talking about plastic. Hey, okay. wait a second. I checked this pool not even five minutes before the show, and it was spotless. I mean, how could a plastic bottle have just gotten in there? Unless someone put it in there, Sarah. Well, if it wasn't you, then who could it have been? Townsend? Oh my goodness, did you put that plastic bottle in there? Alright, alright, I think he was just trying to make a point. And you know what? He is right. This is serious. Plastic is choking our oceans. Did you know that humans use over 50 billion plastic bottles a year? And only one in five will be recycled? Just one in five. I know, buddy. It's shocking. But consider this. If Sarah and I and all of us here today switch to a reusable bottle instead of a single-use plastic one, well, that will add up to a ton of plastic saved from our oceans and help countless marine mammals just like Townsend. It is truly amazing how the small changes that we all make out of to an enormous collective impact. And here at the New York Aquarium, that is something to celebrate. Hit it!
City, but it's also a coastal community, a series of islands surrounded by ocean wilderness. And it's the choices that we make that protect our underwater world. Thank you all so much for choosing to visit the New York Aquarium today. When you support us, you support the worldwide efforts of the Wildlife Conservation Society. Now let's give it up one more time for our stars of the show today. We had Erie, Pickles, and Townsend and their tree. I guess she's some African penguins. Here's our warm weather penguins. I'm like it hot. Fishy meals. Bridge of feather flock together. As you can hear, there are lots and lots of school groups here right now. However, their chaperones keep all the kids in check and are typically very, very well behaved. I said, if not, a little bit loud at times, but they're here to have fun and to learn about these animals, just like I am. All right, we got California sea lion. So these guys at the show just a few minutes ago, life at sea. Sea lion family life. I'm swimming around, enjoying the water. You're in the life of a sea lion. <laughs> yes, we got harbor seal. Also saw harbor seals in the show. Talked about this and show how to tell the difference between a harbor seal and a sea lion. See lots of foam. Not sure if this is algae. Do I want to go? Where do we go? Wasn't sure if anybody was home in here. They said a head pop up. There we go. We've got two, it looks like. Harbor Sill and sea lions have similarities. The harbor seals have the cool spots on them. Well, yeah, these guys got lots of space to go up on the shore or on the little boardwalk. You see, they're able to jump up pretty good. Oh, they go all the way underneath the 
the walkway here too, evidently. Another great view of the Harbor Seal habitat. Yep. The pinnipeds. There you go. Earless seals. Eared seals. The walrus. This is additional California sea lion habitat. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ooh, Ooh splashy, splashy. Got two of them, looks like. Oh, wow. I'm gonna try to get a picture of my guest. I'm not doing it. Got the sea change underwater viewing. Here we go, sea change. Changing seas. To so going down the stairs. Kind of like the subway systems here. And what is climate change? Atmosphere equals blanket. Burning fossil fuels makes a thicker blanket. And thicker blanket means hotter planet. And warming planet means rising seas. You gotta go underneath the water and clean this glass. This is California sea lion tank. There we go. Yum. Man, that's a big California sea lion right there. Ooh, there's two smaller ones zipping by. Third one over there. Melting ice, bigger ships, big trouble for Arctic animals. in the Arctic need pack ice. Unless ice means crowded shores. Get all those. Underwater viewing of the harbor seal. There we go. Must have a worker up there giving him food. Yeah, see, because they're twirling and doing stuff. So, must be getting some snacks. Yeah. What would the food web be like without crabs? You see, Jonah crab. Atlantic rock crab. Atlantic lump fish. Boop, 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 boop. See a crabby up top. See a crabby up top. Oh, the crabby's all walking around. But his tank is angled like this. I'll show you how it looks. Gives you a nice clear view. Of the crab. The lump fish is in the back. Where's another crab? Oh no, that's another crab. Crab. 
California sea lion. It's the other habitat. These guys swim fast. Ooh, zoom, zoom. Zoom by. <laughs> this tank has all these starfish in it. Starfish. Do you like the starfish? Some more anemone, another lovely fish. No signs in any of this stuff, so don't ask me what this is. <coughs> like this area down here, it's all these uh, faux rocks. Looks like you're in a cave. And then we get another nice view of the seals as you swim by I guess we're just busy zooming around down at the other end oh, kelp fights climate change So sea otter habitat is being renovated. So my guess is the sea otters are completely off habitat. We're just going to show you all the information on them nonetheless. Plus you can see what they look like. And traveling with tools. You need to take a rock. Put it in their tummy and then smash the shell on it. Ocean acidification is harming shelled animals. The type of stuff that these animals eat. Forging with four paws. And world's thickest fur. This underwater viewing for African penguins. Doesn't look like anybody's swimming right now. These are local fish. This is a really nice looking tank. It's rounded. Ocean. Atlantic sturgeon and sandbar shark. This big giant tank. 
Atlantic sturgeon and sandbar shark. See the sturgeon. The sandbar shark was just on the bottom. So our vessel locations right near the Atlantic Ocean tank I just showed you. 